Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am fresh out the shower and that is intentional because today I want to try out any natural deodorant. If you've been following me on my Instagram stories, you'll know this has been a... Uh, it's been a journey. A very smelly journey. <laughs> so I've been trying out loads of natural deodorants over the last couple of years. Some I've found really good and then I'll suddenly find they don't work for me anymore. And some I've found atrocious. So bad that I feel like I would smell better if I went without deodorant than if I'd used them. So today I want to review with sniff tests a deodorant that I've seen lots of YouTubers sponsored by. So this is Native. Vegan, cruelty-free, eco-friendly, all the rest. However, I've never seen anyone talk about it that isn't being paid by the brand. I'm not trying to throw shade here. Perhaps it's amazing, but you'll know that this is completely unbiased because I paid for this myself. Now, Native, I believe, is a US brand and they do free worldwide shipping if you spend over I think it's $30. I'll leave the information in the description box down below, but essentially I used Parcel Motel combined with the free shipping to get these for like a not too crazy price, but I ordered three. So obviously in order to get the free shipping, I had to order three. I actually haven't even opened these yet. Ooh, they're completely plastic free, cool. The packaging looks like this. It's cardboard packaging. They're really, really weighty. Right, let's see what they smell like. This is the pumpkin spice latte. It actually smells like Starbucks. It looks like this in the tube. A little bit rough and ready. How do you? Oh, and you, it's like a push pop. So you push it up like that. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what the instructions are. Push up a small amount and apply under arms. Okay, I was a bit smelly this morning, so I really wanted to make sure to give this a fair shot. I was properly clean, and I'm only out of the shower about 10 minutes. I'm gonna try the pumpkin spice today, just because. So I pushed up a little bit, and I'm going to apply it to my underarms. Ooh, it actually goes on quite smoothly. Okay. Right, it goes on very like an oil. It seems to become emollient on immediate contact with the skin. There's definitely a little bit of residue there, but it's completely clear. I'm gonna smell the other two. This is coconut and vanilla. Oh, that smells like a cake. Very nice. Cucumber mint. Okay, just fresh, very nice. I feel like this would be really nice if you've dry underarms because it feels like it'd be really moisturizing. Okay, I'm gonna go about my business for five minutes or so and see if this dries it. It's been about 10, 12 minutes, I would say. I just had a feel of my pit and there's definitely still that same oily residue. However, it feels kind of nice, like almost moisturizing and it's completely clear so it doesn't transfer onto clothes. One of the people who I watch who have been sponsored by Native did mention that every time they raise their arm they get this smell of pumpkin spice and as I was putting on my bra obviously I had to lift my hands over my head and I got a little whiff of the pumpkin spice so I definitely see where she was coming from. It's currently quarter past 10 in the morning. I don't have any huge plans for today. Obviously it's still very very early on in the review but so far so good. Hi so we're four hours into wearing the deodorant. I'm going to give a little bit of a test. My armpit's Definitely feel a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. I don't even think I should say residue -y, but they definitely feel moist. I'm gonna give it a little sniff. It still just smells like pumpkin spice. I actually think I smell delicious. <laughs> so that's my check-in for four hours in. I don't anticipate myself doing anything strenuous. So if today does end up being a lazy day, I'll probably pop another review in at the end from tomorrow where I might do something a bit more laborious. See you in the next check-in. It is shortly after 9 p.m., which means I've been wearing this deodorant for Eleven hours. I think that's given it a fair go. They feel nicely moisturized. That's not important. We want to give them a sniff. Happy to report, they still smell absolutely phenomenal. Not as strong of a pumpkin spice scent as it was earlier in the day, but definitely still there. Now I will say, I did sweet F all today. I lay on the couch. I probably sweated the least today that I have in the last six months because today is particularly cold. So what I am going to do is, I'm gonna do the one pit test tomorrow. I'll get a bit of a sweat on. I believe we're to have a nice afternoon and I'll put it to the test then properly. Day two, 20 past eight. I'm gonna put the deodorant on one of my armpits, leave the other one bare, and then I'm going to sniff both during the day and see how they compare. Same as yesterday glides on really easily. I'm going to try and do 
a little bit more strenuous activity today to put it to the test. Hasta luego. Hello, good afternoon. It is 10 past two, which means I've had this deodorant on for nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, six hours. I haven't done anything physically exertive, exertive, physical exertion. English, not my forte. However, I did make the mistake of wearing a rain jacket in a heated office environment. And I may as well have worn a plastic bag because I'm very sweaty in here. I also had a little slot on national radio prior to which I could feel, I could feel my armpits getting wetter and wetter because I was a little bit nervous. I will say, as I was waiting for my slot to kick off, I definitely felt that my deodorant free arm was wetter. I could feel like almost like a bubbling. So fucking weird. And even as I sit here right now, I know this armpit's going to be wetter, which is the one I did not put deodorant on. So let's see. I also wore a light t-shirt today. So we could all assess my sweat stains. So there we have the side with the native deodorant. And there we have the other. Let's do the sniff test. I was afraid to take off my jacket because I knew it was going to be a bit of a smell fest. So let's see. <laughs> okay. Um, this one smells of very faint pumpkin spice. This one smells like the early stages of body odor. Yeah, there's no denying it. This pit definitely smells not great. And this pit definitely smells grand. Okay, so far, driving this beach this week. You can see the rain. 34 years of age and I still have a teddy but he's technically a hot water bottle and I've got my book and I'm going to bed. It is 8.08 so it's been 12 hours since I put on the deodorant and I think that's quite enough to expect a deodorant to perform for. Neither pit is horrendous but this one definitely smells a lot nicer than this one. I'm gonna say Thumbs up to the native deodorant. I've only tried the pumpkin spice one. This video won't be up for a few days. So what I'll do is I'll use this over the next few days and I will pop either a blurb after this or in the description box letting you know how I'm getting on with it. I've been using it for I think six days since this and I love it, it's my new favorite. That is everything for this deodorant review. It's as thorough as I can possibly make it, I feel. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. And I will talk to you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.